Hello and welcome back to Cows Week, where it's day four, it's Tuesday. Now, there was a time, I'm sure, years ago, when the opening day of Cows Week was always the day when there'd be no wind. You could almost bank on it. Well, things have changed nowadays, it would seem. But one thing still remains. In the course of a week of Cows Week, you will get at least one day where there isn't any breeze. And today was that day, at least to start with. And who'd want to be a race officer in these kind of conditions? The forecast was always for there to be hardly any breeze. At the start, we went out to do some testing in the morning and there was absolutely none. The race committee decided to postpone ashore uh, indefinitely actually until the breeze built up because there was always the suggestion that the sea breeze was going to come in and racing was going to get underway. The big question was when. Rolling. So as the cumulus clouds built on the shore they were giving us all the clues that a sea breeze was in store and from here at the yacht squadron where the race management is based they could see that development on the other side. The big question was how long was it going to take for the sea breeze to build? Getting 500 boats racing around the Solent and getting them to complete their races is quite a task. And with 500 boats there's probably more than 5,000 different opinions as to how that should be done. We had a nice southeasterly sea breeze and that enabled a lot of the classes in the white group that were starting on the squadron line just here to get off on their racing. The black group classes had gone out to a committee boat out to the east they too got their racing underway pretty smartly. But having successfully negotiated the first hurdle, the race committee were now faced with a second problem. That was that the sea breeze in the southwest was developing and starting to move up the western Solent. And the Solent is famous for having two different sea breezes opposing each other and a flat spot in the middle that shifts across the Solent, which is exactly what happened. Two sea breezes met, we got a flat spot in the middle and unfortunately it was right over the top of the start line for the last two remaining classes in white group. Everybody else was sailing but it was tricky, the breeze was light, it was fickle and the new sea breeze was taking its time to work in across the racecourse area. Anyway, the bottom line was it was pretty tricky out in the eastern Solent in particular but spare a thought for the race committee who had the entire fleet out there bar one or two classes and had to try and get something out of the day and that's where the shortened course plan swung into action. With plenty of committee boats at their disposal they were able to dispatch them to certain parts of the Solent to complete the racing and as if toying with the race committee the breeze filled in beautifully by the end of the day. 